Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning at 10 o'clock here Pacific time. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Uh, I just got inspired. Uh, I was having the thought about uh, the question that I get asked absolutely the most, and that is, what can I do to lose weight? What exercise or variations of that question? What exercise should I do to lose weight? What diet should I use to lose weight? What should I do to lose weight? So I wanted to answer that question uh, really directly. And for the clients that I work with either online or offline uh, or in person, uh, whether they're diabetic or not diabetic, the one thing that we absolutely have to do before we can uh, get any results from our nutrition changes, uh, our diet and our exercise program, whether it be an at-home exercise program or a kickboxing-based exercise program. Uh, I don't really do any heavy weight training uh, exercise programs with my clients. It's either uh, things that they can do at home or uh, like hitting uh, pads, like a kickboxing style with me. But before we do anything like that, we have to deal with one issue that there may not even be an awareness about, and that is sugar addiction, okay? Sugar addiction is the absolute number one reason that people are overweight, unhealthy, unable to control their blood sugar, and not seeing results from an exercise program. I see it in the gym that I go to all the time. There's guys that have been there for years and they're lifting weights, they have a really good solid exercise regime or they're doing cardio all the time, uh, but they're not seeing any results. And it's because I know that they're not in control of their nutrition because they're a slave to cravings, uh, spikes in blood sugar and crashes which create cravings for food and that's all because of sugar. Uh, carbohydrate in our body converts to sugar. So when I'm speaking about sugar, I'm not talking just about candy, cake, things like that. I'm talking about carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, which we'll learn more about that convert to sugar. This all causes spikes uh, in our blood sugar and for type one diabetics uh, create, uh, or um, cause us to have to inject insulin, which sometimes it's difficult to do precisely. All that being said, that is the number one reason why people are not seeing results uh, and uh, that people are overweight and having issues. So a lot of times, like I said, there's not even an awareness that sugar has been snuck into most products. You know, one of the biggest ones that I tell people about are fat-free products. There was a whole craze in the 90s about fat-free, low-fat products. But the thing is, those products that don't have fat uh, are pumped full of sugar to make them tasty. And the secret is that fat is not bad for you. Uh, trans fat is bad for you, but saturated fat, omega fats are, are good for you. Uh, and in fact, our bodies are designed to use fat as fuel. Uh, our ancestors were hunter-gatherers and, you know, they ate animal fats, they ate nuts and seeds, which are all excellent sources of fat. And um, our body is actually designed to use fat as fuel uh, more efficiently than carbohydrate. So uh, to do that, we need to rid all sugar from our body and totally detox from it. It's no good to omit a few things here and there. Uh, because the cravings will remain. So that is always the starting point of the program, uh, online or offline uh, with me, is to rid that from your diet. So there's some certain things that you have to do. You have to replace the carb with fat, and you have to set uh, your meals and snacks uh, at specific times to keep your metabolism running and uh, reduce any cravings. So to answer that question directly, what to do? You have to start there. You have to omit sugar from your diet. You have to detox uh, 100%. And once that happens, you can reintroduce complex carbohydrates that don't have a, a drastic impact on uh, on your blood. Uh, you can also reintroduce then, um, you know, low glycemic fruits that also don't have a, a negative impact on your blood sugar. But that has to be the starting point before any exercise or any nutrition um, uh, program will work. 
Um, you will see results, no, no doubt, if you don't do that, but the problem is they're not, uh, the results will not remain. You will eventually go back. So once you've learned uh, how to detox from sugar and rid yourself from that addiction, uh, like for me, I've done it personally probably four or five times. Sometimes, you know, during Christmas, uh, you're having different foods, you're, you're going out to eat more, things start creeping back into your diet. And before long, you start noticing that you're craving things again. So then you can just hit reset and go back to that detox. Once you learn how to do it the first time, you'll always know how to do it and you can always fall back on that, okay? I hope you guys have a great day, bye.